Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan Hell here, and uh, today I'm going to be working on the bottle warmer that I said I'm going to be making for you guys. So, I went to Lowe's, I picked up some stuff that I'm pretty sure I got about 90% of everything that I'm going to need, and I spent about 70 bucks. So, that's a fuck ton cheaper than the 170 that they like a legit one goes. Um, so, what I bought, I got a bunch of little odds and ends, just a bunch of like copper pipe fittings and stuff, and I got... 20 foot of quarter inch copper tubing. So uh, what I'm gonna do on this quick video is I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna make like the kind of like the heating element. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this copper tubing. I'm gonna run it around in a really tight S in between where the bracket would go on the bottle. And the reason I'm I'm not gonna go all the way around is gonna be like a horseshoe shape. So it's gonna be like it's gonna be kind of like like this. So it wrapped around the bottle. So I'll be able to take it on and off and I can pull the bottle in and out without, it'll just be easier. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. All right, you guys, so here's the coil I made. It's definitely kind of rough. Uh, kind of doesn't really, bending this stuff without kinking it was pretty hard and trying to make it work. But I think for what I'm trying to use it for, it's gonna work very well. So I can see I made like a horseshoe shape. So it goes on and off the bottle and I'll be able to tighten it and loosen it. Uh, it's definitely a jumbled mess. It's got a bunch of zip ties and uh, Kind of looks crazy, but I think it's gonna work pretty good. All it's got to do is get hot and run cooling around it. So uh, I think that's gonna work just fine But uh, we'll have to we'll have to find out and see. All right, you guys. So pretty much here's the setup and how it's gonna be in the car All right, so this is what I got going. I know it looks pretty crazy. It's definitely pretty bulky but uh there's the copper heating element that I made. <clears throat> and what I got is I got these two hose barbs coming off. One's of course gonna be in and one's gonna be out. So with the solenoid, this is gonna be mounted uh, probably on the outside of the car, so up underneath somewhere, probably where the nitrous line comes out from underneath the car. This pretty much is gonna be connected from here to one of these sides and it's gonna cut uh, water or coolant on and off to the coil get this hot or get it cold um i ordered a temperature switch it was like two dollars on ebay so i just went ahead and bought two of them who knows you know i might need another one down the road so it's going to control this so i'm going to have the temperature like for the temp switch it comes with a little uh temperature like reader thingamajig and i'm going to have it on the tank and then wired to this so it'll click this on and off when the bottle hits 85 degrees or wherever it's supposed to be at which i believe is 85 degrees so uh, yeah, since this copper stuff was so cheap, 16 bucks for 20 feet, I think I'm going to buy another one. And from the solenoid, or pretty much from the heater hoses of the car, like where the uh, heater core is, where I'm going to tee off, I'm going to go from there to the side of the car where I put the nitrous line to this. And then from here to the heater thingy with Jager, and then from out, and then it's going to go back to the other side of the heater core. So that's pretty much how I'm going to do it. Yeah, it looks like a jumbled fucking mess. But if you know if it if it works, then I'll redo it and do a try to do a much better job. So uh, yeah. All right, you guys. So pretty much that's how I'm gonna be doing my bottle warmer, and hopefully it'll work. Hopefully by the end of the week I'll have it done, and I'll do like a testing thing with the infrared gun. I'll hit it, and I'll make like a graph just to see how fast it makes the bottle warm up, if it even does at all. It should. You know, it, just, it gets hot, so it should heat up the bottle. Yeah, so stay tuned for that, and I'll probably do an install of it in the car tomorrow or the next day, one of these next couple of days. I'll definitely do it. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, and give me a like and a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. All right, deuces.